Greetings, and welcome to The World According to Pleiades on KFUG Radio in Crescent City, California, 101.1 FM, the one-hour weekly radio program that covers everything from alternative medicine, hypnosis, meditation, success, human interaction, alien abduction, and the question of what is reality anyway, to name but a few. One of my first interviews that I actually did uh, here on KFUG Radio was with Sean Russell. And uh, during that interview, uh, Joan Warren was here, and uh, she came in uh, in different parts of the interview. Uh, and today we're going to do an interview with Joan Russell, used to be Joan Warren. Uh, what's, what's going on? You, you're recently married? Yeah, <laughs> it's been kind of, kind of, got kind of fast actually. After mm -hmm. 11 years of being with Sean and him asking me probably every year for all that 11 years, I, I broke down one day and I go oh, okay. And next thing I know, we were up in Vegas on Halloween, 4:20, getting married. <laughs> awesome. Well, that sounds very romantic actually. Yeah, it was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. All of a sudden, out of the blue, after 11 years. <laughs> Tell you what, I've never seen tickets come so fast. Wow. Yeah, it was it was pretty amazing, and we had a wonderful time. We got to see beautiful things. Um, we got to see, uh, what are those things called in the rocks? Uh, oh, paraglyphs. Petroglyphs. Petroglyphs. Oh, or, cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man, that was just in the awesome. Valley of Fire. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we did get to see some really nice things. Got me a couple of Navajo items. and. Mm hmm but very, uh, very cool. And and so you guys have actually been performing together uh, for how many years now? At least a whole 11. And did, did you meet while yes. you were like in the same band or something no. or, or, no. or what? Actually, I was um, at an open mic night in mm. uh, Brookings, Oregon. And my friends had talked me into going there. And um, they actually had talked to some of the people that were, you know, hosting the open mic if I could get up and play. Mm-hmm. So when I got up and played, I think I played maybe one song, and the next thing I know, Sean gets up out of the audience, and he goes, can I play with you? I go, okay, yeah, sure, you know, so he gets up there, and he starts playing, and oh my God, he just freaking just hit it right on the money. Every mm. time he hit his guitar, he hit it, you know, mm -hmm. and we actually became good friends for probably two, two and a half years, mm -hmm. you know, and he would always come, him and his brother, Brian Russell, you know, they would come and... And play with me and no matter where I went, you know, along with some other friends of, of mine that were musicians. And uh, we uh, did an open mic in Gold Beach mm -hmm. at the Sea Star uh, restaurant and bar for probably almost a year. Mm -hmm. And uh, they joined us and, you know, and then before you know it, you know, I said, no, I want to be friends. No, no, no. You mm -hmm. know, and the next thing I know, you know, we're together and have them for 11 years since. Okay, very nice. And actually that does sound... Uh very romantic, and it, it <laughs> sounds like it would make one heck of a movie. Yeah. 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 So um, any um, movie potential out there, feel free to come on, come on in and talk to us. We'll, we'll talk about it. I got any she kind of book you want to write. She does not um, jump into stuff. Yeah. She thinks long and hard about it. She's very uh, cerebral about what she does. Okay, so she actually <clears throat> put a lot of thought into yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, good job, and uh, uh, best wishes and, and all you. that fun. Thank you. Actually working out uh, for the both of you in yeah. the most yeah. beautiful, yeah. fantastic yeah. ways. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really I'm keeping comfortable. keeping my fingers crossed and my prayers really closing in. <laughs> I know you mean that in the best possible yeah. way. Um, I, I have a, uh, a question. So, like, what we're talking about tonight is um, Joan Russell. Uh, and an upcoming um, live performance where? Is, yeah. is that here in Crescent City? Yeah, or? it's actually uh, it's called uh, Sounds of Surf, okay. Fisherman's Benefit, and it's on March, March 19th. Uh, they're going to be starting probably around uh, right. 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be going to about 8, and I believe it's on Anchor Way oh, okay. at the Big Rock. Okay. And if it's raining or something like that, they're going to move it to the fairgrounds. Mm. 
Okay. So, yeah, and we were the first band on as Hard Rain. Yeah. So we'll be playing like at 11 o'clock until 12. Okay, so your band, the name of the band is Hard, hard Rain. Rain. Yes. That's pretty cool, kind of like hard rain, like the, the rain's falling, hard rain gonna fall. Or? Well, um, you know, uh, unfortunately, it was not, Sean and I had gone on the internet, and, and you know, because we had that name for quite a while, you know, yeah. and we go on the internet and we're going, oh shoot, there's like 15 bands that have the same dang name, yeah. oh. you know? Okay. So we're like, okay, what do we do now? Okay, let's just spell it a different way and give it a different meaning. Mm. And so we decided to spell it rain as in time. Yeah, as a time period, you know, yeah. like okay. the R -E -I -G -H -N. second rain or third rain. Um, Although our banner still needs to be changed, mm. it's yeah the hard rain instead of hard rain. Yeah, as okay. thunder and lightning. I like that. Yeah, it's a hard part of time right now. Okay, and you know the the idea of rain relating to time and stuff like yeah. that. Hard yeah. rain, and yeah. we all know life can be challenging. Yeah. I, yeah. I actually like your. Your latest spelling. I do too. Yeah, yeah. I do too. The, because the you know, I, like yeah. it actually fits the music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a lot of ways, yeah. I didn't think about it. You know, for. She you know, talks but, a lot about what's going on in her music. Mm -hmm. Well, if yeah. If you listen but, to the lyrics, she'll. You can see that a lot of that's what's going on right now. It's all pertinent to it if you, if when it's, you put the words together. Speaking of which, speaking of time, uh, for those listening to this, um, uh, as you know. I've, I'm going to be uploading this onto YouTube, so uh, somebody at some future point will be listening to this. And you said March 19th. Right. Uh, right now the year is uh, 2016. Yeah. And so, it's this year. Yeah. So it's like this, this year. This month, yeah. next week. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it, yeah. It may happen next year, but right now yeah. we're in tw 2016, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. we're talking about March 19th, right. 2016. Next weekend. So, now, yeah. If you hear this next year, don't make any plans. Okay. <laughs> now, I can't help but notice that um, both you, Joan, and Sean have actually brought guitars with you today. So that leads yeah. me to believe you're not just saying, look, I own a guitar, uh, but at some point um, you're actually going to bless us with some music. If you wouldn't mind, we'd, yeah. we'd like to give you a little sample a couple of Joan songs. what it's made of. That would be totally cool. Now, my question is, what part of the interview would you actually... Um, would work best for you the second half or or the first half how, how do you feel about that oh uh, let's go to the second half okay second yeah. half okay. she's nervous <laughs> that's that that's an interesting point though and thank you for bringing that up um Joan are you feeling a little nervous or um yeah I'm I'm not uh, someone who likes to get out there and talk a lot and I'm definitely not someone who likes their picture taken so I try to stay in the background and, and she say hi Yes. <laughs> yeah, isn't that weird? That's always an interesting point for yeah. me. And I feel um, it, it gives um, what um, hope and things like that to yeah. people that are listening that are performers or wanting to perform and they have those feelings that they have to deal with every time. You can still do it. Don't yeah. be scared. Go ahead and do it. It's inspirational <laughs> yeah. when, when somebody is like that, but they do it anyway. Yeah, so, I, guess, um, I guess in the yeah. long run, I'm kind of a ham bone once I get up yeah. on stage. It's like, I, I really don't want to talk about anything, and I don't want to talk to anybody about anything, mm -hmm. but as soon as I start playing music, I mean, that that's everything I have to say. She's yeah. a performer, you yeah. Know? yeah. I she don't forgets, have anything else to say. She gets rid of her voodoo's <laughs> then, and then she can do it. Okay. It's like, um, <clears throat> how, what would you say? Is it like um, um, something clicks, and... All of a sudden, it just starts pouring out. You turn into a different mode, or what? It's like you, you feel a bit nervous, say before a performance, but once the lights go on and you, and you start playing and singing, something changes. What what is that like? It's it's kind of like um, no longer Joan, Warren, or Russell. Hmm. I'm era, era. Ah, <laughs> right. We spoke about that a little yeah. before we turned uh, the recording on. What is ERA? ERA is, um, um, I don't know, I guess to, uh, to bring it to where it belongs, uh, it was my great, my grandmother's first name, ERA, and I was the only one out of all the seven kids, eight kids, you know, to get that name. And um, I don't know, I don't know what the name really means, um, mm. but it means something to me. 
So are you known as a performer as ERA? A lot of my friends over the years back home in Ohio and um, yeah, anytime I ever told them, I said, if you ever hear an album come out with the name Error on it, it's me. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's neither or neither, because it's, it's not just me, it's it's other people who are playing with me, and that's why we came up with the name Hard Rain. Okay. How, you know, how do you spell Error? A-R-R-A-H. Okay. I just wanted to get that in. That's very yeah, cool. Yeah, you just kind of, you know, do that. First R as an I. <laughs> you, you must have seen this, even though it's a different spelling. Okay, you must have seen it. Rain relating to time, era relating to yeah. time. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you, you've seen that before, right? Yeah. E R A, era. Wow, never thought about that. Okay, way. cool. <laughs> Revelation <laughs> right yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. smack me on the left hand side. <laughs> well, <clears throat> speaking more um, about uh, Joan, era, Warren. Russell, <laughs> who are you? Can you tell us a, a little bit about um, your beginnings in music? How did that ever happen? I mean, were you like uh, five years old, you grabbed a guitar and, <laughs> and, and you just ran with it or what? Pretty daggone close. Yeah? Yeah, I was actually, um, I don't know, I grew up, my father played guitar in a band. And I guess I was probably about 10 years old that I really got a chance to sit down and listen to my dad play. And I thought, wow, that's so cool. I really kind of want to do that. It like tripped a trigger on me, and I didn't know mm. what it was, you know. And But I really, really wanted to do it. And uh, so my mother bought me a guitar when I was probably 11. Mm. And I, But I didn't know how to play it, mm -hmm. you know. I had all these ideas, and I seen all these things that my dad would do, you know. And I thought, God, this can't be that freaking hard, <laughs> you know. So I was going to school in sixth grade, and my teacher, Ms. Solt, uh, actually played guitar. And she brought her guitar into school class one day, and after class I asked her, I said, you know, can you teach me how to play? And she goes, sure, you know. She goes, what do you want to learn? I go, teach me how to play House of the Rising Sun. Hmm. So she sat there and I watched her play it and I listened to her strumming and I listened to her rhythm and I listened to the words and I listened to everything. And I go, when she was done, I said, can I try? Hmm. She goes, yeah. So I picked up the guitar and I go, is it this chord? She goes, yeah, this chord, yep. I go, this chord, yep. I go, okay. Next thing you know, I played House of the Rising Sun all by myself. Wow. Didn't need <clears throat> anybody else to show me anymore. And from that point on, I just started picking it up left, right, making my own sounds, doing my own chords and creating, you know, and I never, ever really, I, I've never played for musicians before, hmm. you know, and until I moved here and met, like, Sean and, you know, and I was up playing and open mics and that, and people goes, wow, man, I, I really like what you're doing, can I play with you? And hmm. I, I'm like, sure, you know, and hmm. so then I had to learn how to play with other people. What was that like? Hard hmm. for me because I was so scared I was going to mess it up. Mm. You know, because yes. they're they're musicians. Mm. To me, I was just a beginner. You know, yeah. I I thought every time I hit a chord or something, I'm gonna really hard mess somebody up. But all out. I did was stick with what I knew, mm. and it turned out to be what they liked. And 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 I'm like, wow, maybe I can play with other people. Interesting. You know? Interesting. I compliment her all the time to bring mm -hmm. her out, nice. and, and every everybody else that we play with is keeps telling her. Come on, you're all right. Don't worry about it. You sound I know. great. And, I, and mm -hmm. you know, I guess a, a lot of good musicians. I, I don't consider myself She's a really a good way. musician, but I you am could learning. Hardly hear her at all when we first started playing. Ah, okay. Yeah, she's come along. Well. I've gotten yelled at quite a bit over the years, but uh, it's been all oh. good. Oh, to basically get louder. Yeah, bring it up. You know, I I, I never will be people. a loud singer because go ahead. Know, and be alive on stage. Yeah, hmm. but I never no will pie. be a loud singer because I, I, you know, I smoke. I'm a, I'm a bad girl, you know, and uh, I don't have that power, but I do have um, some writings that and you're confident I hope to talk people to your enjoy. And, mm -hmm. Needs to be scared. I, I don't know what else to say about that. Well, that's, that's, that's a lot right there. And once again, on a level of somebody listening who's a, a, an aspiring artist yeah. on any level, yeah, it 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 shows them. You know, here's a person who, you know, had to had to walk the valley of their own uh, fear.
fear of their yeah. own self-doubt and you're you're great i've i've heard you uh, uh like an mp3 that kind of thing and i just think you're amazing when i first heard you the first thing i said i think was what the hell are you doing in crescent <laughs> city right? i know i remember you know? that day <laughs> oh my god yeah so and I thank mean, you so much for that because that was but it's, cool. it's true it's true <laughs> yeah. you know thank you yeah so go ahead and run with it sweetie yeah absolutely no doubt if yeah. not now then when yeah now, i'd like to uh, i'd like to hear um well, about your family and uh, maybe your beliefs. And I have a note here, uh, something about a UFO. What's, what's that about? Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. My kids would probably smack me right about now. But, uh, yeah, I... We're I've, both believers. <coughs> Staunch believers. We no, both I, I grew stuff. up um, seeing things that maybe most people didn't see or believing in things. And I, I don't look down as often as I look up. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, you see a lot more looking up. Mm -hmm. I just know that um, <laughs> I've seen a lot of things that I can't explain. I, I know planes, I know helicopters, I know yeah. uh, the new ships they have, I know all this, you know. But, you know, I, I have no doubt in my mind that there's other um, entities and yeah. other civilizations. And, you know, at the same time, I've, I've been totally totally scared you know at times because I felt like they were just so close and I, I didn't know how to step in and go hey my name's Joan <laughs> you know mm -hmm. and I, I I just ran I ran faster than probably anybody could even freaking move but okay. only because I was just scared but um, would, would you um, be interested in sharing um uh, something that something kind of magical or, or whatever uh, happened to with an automobile oh accident you had oh. once upon a time. Oh, and oh, there wow. was it was like the vehicle yeah. got smacked or something. Yeah, yeah. people yeah. who know uh, this area uh, know Gold Beach Third uh, Street goes up to Grizzly Mountain, and literally I was coming down the mountain one day and I hit a bump. And my car stalled. It was like a four-speed, whatever, you know. And I reached down and looked to grab the clutch and jump-start it. And when I did, I looked up, and basically within five feet of me, there's nothing but a hole, mm. you know. And if I had slammed on my brakes, I would have gone head over toe. Mm -hmm. If I pushed on the gas, I would have hit the other side. Mm. So basically, I go, holy crap, here it goes, you know? Yeah. This is it. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and literally, I had gone airborne for quite a distance, and something hit the top of my car, crushed the whole driver's side of my door, and spun me into a tree, probably, excuse me, not more than... I don't know, what does that be, about three about or four foot. feet wide? Okay. I don't even know if it's that big, you know? Yeah. And I was sitting straight up and down on the side of this cliff. Whoa. And I got out and I crawled up to the to the edge, and just as I did, there was a car coming down the mountain. And he go, oh my God, are you okay, are you okay? And I go, you know what, yeah, I am. Well, do you want to ride? And I go, no, thank you, I'll walk. Mm. And I did. I literally walked <laughs> the rest of the way down the mountain, and it took two tow trucks to get my car out of there. And all of them that were there that day could not believe anything that they saw, you know. And it was probably five months later that, five months later, you could still see my tracks mm. coming off the cliff, but I never touched my brakes. But yeah. there are my tracks, and they were there forever. And apparently something hit your car, hit my car that saved your life. Yeah, literally. That literally saved, and it's like looking at the area, There's a nothing person there that can't figure hit me. out what could have actually done that. So in a way, it's like, what was that? Was that the, the hand of God, an alien spaceship? What? I mean, something. Yeah, something stopped my car. Something. And it did in my car. <laughs> out of what people consider normal everyday reality. Right. Happened to you. Right. To actually 
keep you from dying in yeah, that day. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Literally. And the tow truck drivers that came and, and pulled my car out, mm -hmm. they're going, you must have had an angel on your shoulder or something. And he says, there's mm -hmm. no way yeah. you should have made that. A very proactive angel with a... <laughs> yeah, with a, an agenda to yeah. make me be here. So, so I'm still here. That's just really <laughs> in wicked spite of everything. Cool. And uh, I, I definitely wanted to interject it while we were like uh, touching on the idea of UFOs or something because uh, yeah. that's out of the uh, normal everyday reality. How about your interests uh, beyond music? Uh, we only kind of touched on the on the UFO or uh, or other realities kind right, of thing. Right. What what would you like to share? What would you like the people listening to know about Joan as a, as an artist as a person? How about some of your life struggles, maybe some personal struggles that you've uh, managed to keep putting one foot in front of the other to uh, to get to where you are today? Well, you know, when I think of that, the only thing I can think of is one thing, and that's my mother. Um, my mother, to me, was an angel. You know, I mean, purely angelic. Um, I don't know what the deal was, but... There was something about her that I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop touching her. I couldn't stop being around her. Mm. I couldn't stop loving her. You know, I mean, um, um, when I was like three years old, <laughs> my mother asked me, you know, to go get her a book of magic, you know, because my mother smoked, you know. And so like a three-year-old, I go to her drawer and I grab her matches and um, I... Instead of going and giving them to her, I locked the door and sat down on the floor. And I thought, oh, my God, these are cool. Mm. <laughs> so I started striking matches going, woo, <laughs> you know. Well, that was a bad mistake because then I dropped one somewhere along the line in my lap. And my dress just went up in flames. Oh, my God. And unfortunately, like I said, I locked the door so nobody could get into me. Whoa. And uh, so literally my brothers kicked down, my older brothers kicked down the door I went running out. My mother grabbed me, pulled my dress off of me, burnt both her hands in doing so. Mm. It's been a long time in the hospital. And I realized years later that before I even was here, you know, um, my mother, they had put her in a room to basically her and I die. You mm. know, that was, that was it. They had written us both off. You know, we can't help you. I'm sorry. Wow. You know, but uh, we, you know, whatever. And um, my mother said that she got down on her hands and knees that night and prayed. She says a bright light showed up in the room. She says 15 minutes later, I was having you. Whoa. And I go, shit, man, I'm not going to waste that life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I've almost wasted it a few times, but I'm not going to waste it no more. Well, that's pretty I, I learned the hard story. way, but I'm not going to waste it. Wow. That yeah. really is a very interesting story. Holy cow. That was like close to tragic. Yeah. How do, how do yeah. you feel uh, that experience, if at all, has uh, influenced your... Um, oh my God, it's, it's kept me in believing music. that there are good things in life. Yeah. There's good people in life. There's, there's so many things that people get upset about, get mad about, get left, left or right, you know? And mm -hmm. there's... If they just look beyond their own... Um, tragedy and know mm. that there's somebody else out there that has even more okay than yeah. they would ever even imagine yeah they see this all petty mm. you know who gets a fight in the middle of the road mm. over freaking somebody pulling out in front of you mm -hmm. oh you know what it was by accident but mm -hmm. you're not going to take it by accident you're going to go out and kick their ass what the hell mm. yeah. you know that that isn't what life is made of no there's importance you stuff. know anybody that who believes in god knows that when jesus walked the earth or whatever he, he didn't. I, I don't know how to put that really into what words. we are today. I mean, we got no, no, no. So many people say, "Oh, I'm a God fearing person," and da 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 da. But here's 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 him, and and here's us. Hmm. You know, I I can't put that so much into words. I I really don't know how to put that into words other than to say that it's love, no matter what it is. It's yeah. all love. We got to get back to that. 
you you can't not skip that out yeah. of your and existence. Just, Joan, you write your own music. Yes, I do. <laughs> and do you feel that this um, this is a theme to your music? What you're talking about right know. now? I don't yeah, know. I, do. I, I do. don't know. All I know is I write. It was given to me. I mm-hmm. feel it mm-hmm. was given to me because. You know, shoot, I used to write seven songs in one day and didn't even know what the heck I wrote. And to this mm-hmm. day, sometimes I, I sing a song and I go, holy crap, now I understand it. Mm-hmm. But I didn't understand it when I wrote it. Okay. And some of them I still don't understand why I wrote it. I hear you. So I just soon go go with the flow and pray that it's all good and hope that uh, people see the true meaning of it and not think too far into it and just be happy, mm-hmm. you know? Do you dream in color or black and white? Mm, yeah, I probably. Let me think. I dream a lot, so yeah, maybe both. I, I was just curious, you know. Maybe both. I, I was just curious. It just popped into my head to ask you. Is there anything more you'd like to say, maybe in in relation to how you feel your family influenced you, um, in, <laughs> in in the realm of writing music or oh being a gosh. performer? My family are a bunch of hillbillies. Okay. <laughs> so we're from West Virginia, you know. What, what, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> I mean, what does that mean? Is that like banjos? Is that like yeah, yeah, deliverance? Yeah. Is yeah. that like what? I don't know. Yeah, well, not, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Deliverance. Uh, <laughs> I had to throw that in there. So. <laughs> not know, quite as bad. <laughs> um, yeah, my, my family are, are actually very, very cool. Yeah. Um, they're, you know, they have their own things just like everybody else you know but in general I'm really proud to have them as my family um, even though they are hillbillies and you know some of them say that my brothers look like uh, ZZ Top ah okay <laughs> yeah the, the maybe they are ones. ZZ Top yeah. and I'm just not telling you <laughs> yeah um, but uh, no they're they're really cool and I have five children of my own oh wow yeah and I have two girls and three boys. Mm-hmm. And you know what? You know, life is can be pretty crappy sometimes, you know? And I consider myself very lucky that I came out with the children that I have because they are freaking cool, you know? They're sweet. They're independent. They're... And they didn't get it from me. Uh, well, I got it. <laughs> you know, they, they are way cool. I have some very cool kids. I mean, they, you know, they... They um, are, how you say, hardcore. Mm. You know, they don't like stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, but then my whole family doesn't like stupid, you know. I don't like stupid. But, um... <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm not into stupid either. Anyway. Yeah, not into stupid. Stupid is, um, like, really and, annoying. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's my point exactly, and along with my family. But they're very tolerant, and they're very, um, how you say, um, adjustable. You know, mm-hmm. they don't look at it as something bad at first. They mm-hmm. look at it as something, okay, maybe I don't understand, but let me try again. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can understand the next time. Mm-hmm. But if I can't, and you're still stupid, go away. <laughs> I'm curious, what are their ages? <laughs> um, my oldest son is 35. My okay. youngest daughter is 25. Okay, and uh, what um, what professions or what, what are they doing? Um, my youngest daughter is married to a very good man. He works hard in the shipyard. Mm-hmm. My uh, youngest son is in the military right now. He's over in um, South, South Korea. Korea. Mm-hmm. Very smart boy. He's, he's right on. And then my um, next daughter is um, works for the post office in Portland. Um, my other son works actually for Freeman Marine here in Gold Be- or there in Gold Beach, mm-hmm. and unfortunately, I've got one that winded up in prison because of dealing with drugs. Unfortunately, and uh, they literally had him on suicide watch for a long time because mm-hmm. you know, when you're on drugs, you don't know what you're doing until mm-hmm. you get off and you're sobered up, and then you mm-hmm. go, "Holy crap!" Yeah, I hear you. You know, so that's where he's at, and one day he'll be out, and I'll be there. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. That's that's beautiful. How many songs do you think you've written? <laughs> Shoot. Gosh, yeah, I started writing songs when I was like 10 years old. So my literally ex-husband has um, a whole book that I wrote in like five years. Wow. Uh, yeah. So, but since then, I guess probably maybe a hundred songs. Maybe a hundred songs. Yeah. And in case you've just joined us, this is the world according to Pleiades. We're speaking with Joan Russell, 
And off to the side here is Sean Russell. And what's the, what's the name of your uh, your group again? Hard Rain. Hard Rain. And we've just hit the 30-minute point. We're <laughs> going to take a short break, and when we come back, I'd like to hear more about um, that book of songs. And uh, I guess uh, you folks are going to play a little music for us today yeah. and yeah. speak again about your upcoming performance. Right. Uh, March 19th, 2016, right here in Crescent City. Yeah. Okay, let's take a break. All right. <laughs> and welcome back to the second half of The World According to Pleiades. Once again, in case you've just joined us, we're here today with Joan and Sean Russell of the group Hard Rain. Joan is going to be performing right here in Crescent City, March 19th, 2016. And that's right next to the harbor. What, what, what's the uh, exact location on that? Um, the it's rock. at the Big Rock on Anchor Way, down by the um, restaurant. It's the end of the uh, road where the. What's the name of that restaurant? Coast Guard is. What's uh, the name of that restaurant there? Uh, the, 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 the chart room. room. Chart room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we're away at the end to, of the road. Yeah, it's supposed to start at uh, like ten o'clock and go until at least eight, if not later. Okay, and uh, are tickets being sold? No, or? it's all benefit for uh, Sounds of the Surf, Fisherman's mm. Benefit. Yeah. Okay, and what's what is that about? Was it? You guys had a hard time this year without being able to go out and crab. Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard a little something about yeah, that. What? It, it was something in the about the fish and the, and the crab meat. being poisoned. Wait, was that yeah. all through California? Basically, yeah. Northern California. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I Southern know it's Oregon. a bad thing, and hmm. uh, so they're going to do this benefit. Okay. And um, how did uh, how did you get involved? Um, actually, a friend of ours that has done the KRK uh, in the past, um, he Klamath River cruise. Yeah. Well, anyway, so he he got in touch with the council here in um, Crescent City, and they all agreed that it would be a good thing for the fishermen. And mm. Yeah. So we're gonna do it, and okay. hopefully it's like uh, turns out really well. There's like five or six other bands that are gonna yes. be playing throughout the day. That's yeah. awesome. Do you do you actually like get paid for this? No, or? No, 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 no. It's, a no. it's just out of the goodness of yeah. your of your hearts. Everybody's kind of doing yeah. the as a benefit, and they're coming from all over the place. Yeah, we okay. got some people Musicians coming in from, from New York, and yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna be nice. Awesome. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> Also, I'm curious, um, as we know, uh, you'll both be performing here in just a little bit. Uh, can you tell us a little about um, your guitars? <laughs> what, what what guitars did you bring with us today? I'm going to be playing my Ibanez, and Sean's going to be playing his Dobro. Yeah, I'm going to be playing my Hound Dog Dobro, but when we play on stage with the band, I'm usually playing my... Electric, yeah. Electric. Okay. My Les Paul or my Strat, and... Joan, she sometimes plays the dobro. It depends on what song we're playing. That, mm -hmm. You know, it will change up. And uh, she'll either use her 12 string or the 6 string or the dobro. Mm -hmm. And I, I have a number of different guitars I use too. And then we got a percussionist that plays kungas and djembes. And a uh, drummer plays a trap set. And bass player plays a bass. <laughs> and... Uh, Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. But. Well, it sounds a lot like music to me. Speaking of which, uh, you guys got CDs? I mean, um, people go, they're, they're on the 19th, they're going to hear you, they're going to say, wow, that's awesome, I want to hear this again. So a couple of questions. One question is, do you have any um, recordings that people can go out and buy? Another question is, how about upcoming performances? If somebody sees you, they say, I want more of this. Do you have a web page, Facebook, something like that, where people can go and see what you're doing so they can visit you uh, on, on your next uh, performance? I wish we did have something. Yeah, no, we, we have nothing. Oh, <laughs> my God. God. Yeah, we don't have anything. We're just, you know. But we, if someone uh, wanted to get a hold of us, they'd get a hold of us at Sean and Joan. At Outlook.com. Uh, at Outlook.com. Okay. Yeah, so but that's other than that, yeah, we don't have CD. Spelled out. We yeah, don't have, Sean and you know. Joan. Okay, so Sean and A-N-D, yeah. Joan, of course, no space, yeah. at Outlook.com. Outlook. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Because <laughs> I wanted to get it. One of these days, maybe we'll do a CD. And, yeah, yeah, we'd sure like to. You we, know, at we least, tried. 
at least get the Facebook page going. Yeah. Uh, you should do that. I mean, I got to admit, <coughs> I despise Facebook, okay? I'm just like not going to do it. I accidentally yeah. got locked out of my page. Not this. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm anti-data collection. Yeah. And so when I made my page, I gave them all fake information. Oh, good, <laughs> good. Excellent. But, Excellent. but when they popped up one day and said, um, answer this question, it's your security question, we want to make sure it's you, I didn't know what I told them. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. they won't let me back in, I'm right. not going to make yeah. another page. Right. But yeah. since you guys are actually like performing, uh, do, doing performances, gigs and all that yeah. kind of stuff, you got to have some way in this modern day computer oh, yeah. age that people can like, you know, right. see yeah. what you're doing. So yeah. I highly recommend, even though I despise it, um, creating a Facebook yeah. page, I feel like it could really work in your favor. If yeah. you're not comfortable with it, I don't know how you know yeah. how you feel with computers. Get a friend to do it. Get another yeah. band member yeah. to do it. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. Okay? Yeah, yeah. There. Okay. We actually spent six months putting together a CD. Oh, okay. And uh, spent but it went some, to kibosh. Yeah, time and money involved, it. and and we went in to do the last layer, and we were told that the computer crashed and all the information was lost. Oh my. God! Which really broke our hearts. Oh, that's painful just to hear. I mean, yeah. that's literally wicked yeah. painful. Yeah. Whoa. So, we want to do it again, but we got to be yeah. a little more, I don't know. Yeah, you, you got to do it again. It's it's that Somebody's deal of do it right. basically life kicked you right in the teeth, but you got to yeah. get up and, and go for it again because you put so much yeah. into it. Don't let all that effort... Yeah. Go to waste, yeah, even if you got to do it again. So speaking of performances, after this one, do you have anything on um, on Agenda? your calendar? No. no. No, no. Nothing right now. We've actually been no, on a hiatus right for a while. Yeah, okay. Okay. but it's all good. Yeah, you know. we're trying to jump back into it now. But you know what? If somebody hears it, they like it, they want to hire us, they want us to come and play for a benefit, we're... More than happy to do so. Don't necessarily have to pay us, you know. As long as you got a good cause, we're early summer right there, you know. So wow, or well, you can pay us too. That's all right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's a pretty noble offer. Hopefully, yeah. anybody wanting to take you up on that will yeah. be noble enough to yeah. Um, yeah. meet your nobility Absolutely. with um, some good finance. Oh, well, you know, like I said, you don't care about that, you know. Just you know, if it if it helps, and we can bring in some money for somebody else to help somebody else mm -hmm. all for it mm -hmm. all for it I can totally dig that yeah. speaking of which um, you folks are going to uh, perform a little here this evening can you tell us yeah. about the music that you're going to play and why did you choose that and what's the meaning behind it Joan did you write it yourself what's going on yeah I I don't do cover tunes I've, I've written everything I've ever sang um, and Most the song that I was going to do for you guys tonight, you know, it kind of was toss up as to what we should do, what we shouldn't do, you know, I don't know. Mm. So I kind of picked a little bit of a fun one, um, but at the same time, it's, you know, I'm assuming it's got its own meaning behind it, you know, mm. what it was, you know, supposed to be made of. But um, anyway, it's called uh, Going Around with Emotion. And um, I don't know, I guess when you hear it, you'll figure it out for yourself. <laughs> and, uh... How how long ago did you did you write this? Oh my song? gosh, I probably wrote this song probably fifteen years ago. Okay, and what what was going on in your life that you feel helped this come about? Also, did you wake up at three in the morning and it just came pouring out of you, or uh, when did this writing come into being? Um, like I said, it's like um, you know, I would sit down with my guitar, I I hit a couple of chords, mm -hmm. and then boom, here comes the lyrics, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where they came from, what they meant, and like I said, to this day, some of them I still don't know what they mean, mm -hmm. but they were given to me, mm -hmm. and I don't know why, or, um, but there they are, you know, and um, I hope everybody likes them. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just sure they will, <clears throat> without fear of contradiction. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if there's someone listening out there tonight that decides they don't like it, then... um. I would say probably you're in deep need of therapy. <laughs> um, <laughs> just my personal opinion. Uh -huh. um, 
what is this note I have here? Um, I think you've already mentioned it because I, I, I guess it's um, in relation to March 19th. Yeah. It's called Sounds of Surf. It was, Sounds of was, Surf, that it? Benef uh, Fisherman's Benefit, yes. And how long is that going to be going? You know what? The time is from like 10 to 8. Mm. But if the beer's still flowing and everybody's still having a good time, mm -hmm. you know, we won't stop. And We won't stop. And that makes sense. And then we'll probably get a chance maybe to play again, mm -hmm. you know, after 8 o'clock. <laughs> as, right. as someone who has, uh, in their own way, struggled with your own feelings of worth in relation to the music you perform, yet you've moved ahead and, and um, found your voice and expressed it anyway, what tips could you give to uh, an artist out there that feels it inside, he or she wants to express it, but they're afraid. What, what kind of um, insight or inspiration could, could you actually um, share with them? I mean... Just to say that, my gosh, you know, if, if you have a song inside you, you do know... Do it. Yeah, do, do it. it. You never know what it's made yeah. of, you know, and, and even if it doesn't touch everybody, you know, it might touch somebody. It's gonna, you know, in it's a good way, you. Mm -hmm. you know, hopefully in a good way. I don't know. I guess, um, I, you know, there's one artist out there that I think a lot about, you know, not for a lot of particular reasons, but only one particular reason. And that is that um, she was like me when I was younger, you know, when I was younger, um, I probably sang a whole lot better than I do today, you know. Um, and like I said, I wrote songs. But I have to say, Taylor Swift, mm. you know, um, she writes her own music. She sings her own songs. Good, bad, ugly, and different. She didn't stop. Mm. She um, throws it out there. You know, if you like it, fine. You like it. If you don't like it, that's fine, too. You know, mm. no big deal. Let's do a different one, you know? And um, I, I guess um, I'm kind of like that on my own, you know, that... Um, you know, I'm not in particular looking for anything, you know, when mm. it comes to what I do. Just enjoy but playing music. Yeah, if, if somebody enjoys my lyrics, mm. yeah. literally, if they enjoy my lyrics, you know, then that's something that I can't, I can't trade up and I can't take back. You know, it's 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 there, and and I, like how you say, uh, oh my gosh, so grateful that anybody even pays attention, for mm. that matter. Um, it's good people because I never thought it was neither or neither so if someone says hey my god you know I, I really like that song I'm going holy crap man that's way cool yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know I can't believe you really like that song you know so do you feel um, if I ask the question what what artists musicians I don't know actors writers any, anything that have been influential in your life what, what would you say Gosh, you know, there's so many people out there that tell the truth about what life is really made of, hmm. you know, and, and people go, well, what do you think life's made of? Well, I go back to the same thing I said in the first place, hmm. love. Hmm. If you can change that. And they live, they're, they're honest people that you respect. I don't know, how do you change love? Love is, is like a multitude of freaking, you know, things that you can't even accumulate on your hands or your feet, you know, to count. It's, you it's know, an emotion yeah, that, um, that is, ex I mean, that kind of explains music. I don't Music's know. Music's a language. Creators are all Love's about love. The they respect what's music. true. They respect what's real. They respect what's honest. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and they don't let fear or intimidation or somebody else's opinion turn them around the other way. Yeah, you know, yeah. I don't, don't ever let that happen. You know, always I, be yourself and go ahead and do it. And can you can you give us any examples of that? I mean, that kind of thing happens all the time. Somebody allows, <clears throat> not even consciously, the influence of somebody yeah. else to affect their yeah. entire life. Yeah. yeah. Stop. Shut it off and go. Yeah, what did I just hear? Yeah. Mm. And then analyze it and say, was that good, bad, ugly, or different? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Is it bullies? You know? Is it jealousy? If it's good, bad, or different, take it for as it is. Or if is it's it good, honesty? You know? Right on. Mm. If it's bad, you better deal with it. If it's ugly, get away from it. And yeah. if it's indifferent, mm. think again. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay. Do you have any um, tricks to allowing yourself to be <coughs> open to analyze that information when it comes in? Because so often people will just get get hit in the side of the head with that kind of input, yeah. and it'll be an instantaneous thing. Yeah. And they'll just feel the slap, and yeah. they won't take time to analyze it. They'll just react. Yeah. And that reaction may be it might they're may bad, have a crippling never, yeah. effect. Yeah, in their you life. You can't stop I mean, that because so many people are different. So many people have mental, mental, um, mm. you know, uh, how you say, um, shortcomings. You know, mm. there's so much stuff in this world that are, that are, you know, that you just can't freaking always get a grip on. You know. So basically, you're saying, look, if the music's in you and you feel it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Exactly. If somebody says yeah. you suck, blow them off because yeah. they're probably just full of it or they're broken in such a way where they can't hear your music anyway. If you yeah. feel it, do it. Don't let anybody yeah. stop you. Don't yeah. let anybody tell yeah. you you can't. If somebody tells exactly. you you can't, yeah. that's the person you don't want to talk to exactly. anymore. Yeah, and you, you know, it's not always about being famous or, no, you know, in the public eye, you know. It's just, it's just good, you know. I, I sit at home and I play for my kids, mm. you know. I sit at home and I play for my friends. You know, I don't necessarily get out there and play for anybody else, but when I do, you know, I have play a great time other. and... There's some people out there that like it, and there's some people out there that goes, oh, what are you doing, you know? You know? Sorry. Don't let that break you. Don't let that yeah. bring you down. Just, you know, mm -hmm. do what feels good to you. Yeah. yeah. You know? We'll, we'll make sure your heart feel good. Amen. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so you're a musician. You're both musicians. Do you listen to music very much? And if you do listen to music very much, I mean, these days... Um, who are your favorite artists? Um, what types of music do you listen to? Or are you just listening to stuff from another time because you don't like what's going on today? Or, or, or do you have, have any favorites? Literally. Yeah. I mean, I've listened to music over my lifetime. Of course, everybody has. But I never really based my music on anybody mm. that was there because mm. I didn't know them. I didn't know what they really were. Mm -hmm. um, I have things in my head. That's why I only do originals when I go out and play. People going, oh, I'll do this song, I'll do that song. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, literally, I don't know that song. <laughs> I mean, if you want me to play My Ding a Ling, okay, I'll play it. <laughs> you, know? mm -hmm. you, you want me to play, you know, uh, something else, you know, stupid like that, okay, I'll play it. But, you know, literally, I, I've never gotten the opportunity to, you know, like do karaoke and, and, you know, sit around and, and do other people's stuff. I just, I've just done my own, you know, I have five kids, like I said, you know, that makes my life busy. Mm -hmm. You know, I worked really hard. I had 12 hour shift jobs, you know, and, wow. you know, so I never had time to really get into anybody's influential music. But if there was someone that really tripped my trigger, mm. I say it was Elvis Presley. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Elvis Presley was like, I don't know, you know, I, I liked him very much, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and some very good country artists, you know. <clears throat> like I told you, my family were hillbillies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so all the old stuff, you know, I've, I've been into, but never really took any of it, and, you know. Okay, so you, you never... Um, the influences are there. Okay, there. but, but you, you never sat down one day and said, I want to be the female Elvis Presley. Yeah, no. No. Okay. No, <laughs> no. Although I do love him. And yeah, you know, I'll sing his song. You know, What's they uh, don't. You do uh, yeah. blue suede shoes or okay. teddy bear. You know, I I do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> so are, are those two of your like Elvis favorites? Or? No, he's, he's he had quite a few. Even though he didn't write them, mm. you know, he still had quite a few that you know were really cool. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying about writers and singers. You know, is that you know writers um, like Taylor Swift. I, I'm sorry, she writes all her stuff. Tracy Chapman. She hmm. really does. And and Tracy Chapman and you know, some of these artists that just write their stuff, it's just so pure. Hmm. You know, it's it's never um <clears throat> make believe. It's never um gosh, I can't think of the word, uh The energies in the songs is totally different, I think, when the artist has written the music. Hmm. Rather than doing somebody else's material. You can tell by the lyrics if the artist wrote it or if they didn't because it's, it's just so... It just seems like there's a lot more soul there. into it when you know it's their words. It's not okay. something that someone else has written. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's just... You know, 
neither here nor there. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. You know, people are freaking awesome. Yeah. You know, actually very good artists out there. And Yeah, there's tons. <sighs> There are so many good artists that I don't know how you could even begin to start naming yeah, names. Yeah, yeah. And, well, uh, I know you're both too modest to say it, so I'll say it. I'm sitting with two of them right now. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, if only. <laughs> Joan, how long have you been in Crescent City? Are you in Crescent City now? or? or... Yeah, actually, I've been here, I think, maybe... Uh, five, six years. Okay. But I spent most of my time in Gold Beach. I moved here from Ohio, you know, with my okay. children okay. and my so ex-husband. You and, you and Russell have been together for 11 years yeah. now, though. Yeah. So wh wh where did you guys come from before? Um, he actually lived in Smith River. And okay. And that's where we met up and played music and, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I, I lived in Gold Beach for a long time. I used to... I actually <coughs> went to the new book bookstore there that they built and played several times there for the gentleman that owns that place. And I just haven't been out playing a whole lot, you know. Okay. Um, I missed it. I miss it a lot. You know, I I love playing music. That's what keeps me basically going. Yeah, we mm -hmm. want to start playing again. Do you have any um, any uh, things that you do to like limber up your voice be before? You uh, you do a performance, anything like that? No, I just no. You don't like flow. gargle with. No. Nah. I don't know. You know, I figured I would ask. Uh, I know yeah. some, some people no, do. No, I, I just take it as it comes. You know, I'm I I mean, you know, I, if you say Joan, play a song, I'll, I'll get up and I'll play a song, and whatever yeah. way it comes out is going to be the way it is. Okay. How about how about like uh, good luck charms? You always wear the same socks? Or? No, no, I don't have any good luck charms either. Okay. You're just there. Yeah, it's like here. you show up and it and it happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, better, okay. we're different. She's nervous, and then <laughs> after a while, she's all right. Yeah, it takes me sometimes a little bit to relax, you yeah. know, like everybody else, you know, mm -hmm. to get into the, you know, groove and not be self-conscious and all that, you know. How how can have you ever started to perform and before the performance been really, like, oh my God, I am like too. I am kidding? feeling too nervous yeah. to do this right now. I have literally shaken my guitar off my freaking knee trying to play because I was so nervous. Ah, okay. You know, I'll be sitting there playing and my knee's going 100 miles an hour and pretty soon my guitar is down here, you know, I'm going, ah, you know. And then there's been times I, I, I played for um, um, a hall one time there in Brookings mm -hmm. and they had a, a bunch of uh, disabled kids that were there, you know. And um, the guy comes out to me and goes, hey, Joan, you know, it's like we got a space right now. You want it? And I go, okay, yeah, okay, I'll take it, you know. So I get up there and I start playing. And I'm, I'm, I'm not even into my second song. And, and like, everybody is crying. Hmm. I go, oh, shoot, what did I do? I just make a, you know. And I didn't find out until afterwards is that they weren't crying because they hated it. <coughs> They were yeah. crying because they liked it. Ah. And it just blew me away to the point I went, oh my gosh. I was so scared I freaking hurt somebody or I said mm. something wrong or sang something wrong, you know. And it wasn't that case at all. And, and it's it like just, young. It, it, was, just, it ah. just blew me away that they they were literally crying because they liked it. That's actually And cute. these were kids that were cerebral palsy and mm -hmm. Down syndrome and... Wow. You know, and it was just so beautiful, and I just felt so bad until I was told later on that it was all good. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and I went to the school one time there on Gold Beach, and I sang for a classroom of fourth graders, third graders, or something like that, and I thought I'd done a really lousy job, you know, I, I was scared, you know. And the next thing I know, two days later, I get an envelope full of letters from all the kids that were in the classroom. Thanking her. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Unfortunately, love that. those she needs self confidence. Those those a disappeared. You mm. know, they they all She's disappeared. The Somebody stole them from me, but but it's kind of endearing it in its own way it's too. Cool. Well, I guess in I sense. guess Joe needs more people to hear her perform <laughs> because the more people that hear her, the more people that are going to say, "Oh my God, you rock huge and big time." Speaking of which. Um, we're getting pretty near closing. If you're ready to pull out those guitars, yeah. I'm sure we're all very ready to be blessed by your by your music. 
Okay, so we'll do uh, going around with the motion. Fantastic. Is mojo bag in the way there, babe? Thank you. Joan Russell, Sean Russell.
That was awesome. Thank you very much. You're Eddie. welcome. Very much. That's Joan Russell, Sean Russell from the group Hard Rain, and they're going to be. Is it going to be your whole group or? Yes. Or, okay. Yes. Yes. That's going to be March 19th in just a couple of days. And want to tell the folks again where you're going to be? Um, yeah, at the Big Rock off of um, Anchor, Anchor Anchor Way. Way. Yeah. Yeah. Where uh, the past, chart room is. Past yeah. The chart room. Right Actually, here in got Crescent a, City. A drummer that we've never played with. Ah. Gonna yeah, he's going to be taking over for our drummer. Our drummer couldn't make it, and uh, we've and got a new bass, bass player, player. So. You know, it's just gonna came be, in from out of state, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be. You know. We, it's going to be beautiful. It's we're getting it together. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're, we're putting it be, together. Yeah, it's best we can. Impromptu. But yeah, impromptu. Well, we got the music in us, <laughs> and we want to put it back out there. Well, fantastic. And once again, thank you for allowing us here at KFUG Radio thank in Crescent City, California, us. this yeah. exclusive interview. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, and thank you again thank for you. that performance. We'll be putting this thank up you. on YouTube <laughs> later on, but uh, this will come out right? um, this Thursday okay. for the uh, for the radio show. <laughs> we love you. Okay, you. there it is. Thank Make you. sure you go and see this amazing couple in person. And that's it. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to The World According to Pleiades on KFUG Radio in Crescent City, California. If you have any topics you'd like covered, or you feel you have the potential to make a good interviewee, please send your suggestions and or information to KFUG Radio, 270 I Street, Crescent City, California, 95531. Attention, Pleiades. Or email me at radiointerview at moonstar-enterprises.com. That's radiointerview at moonstar-enterprises.com. My name is Pleiades Moonstar, and I love you.